Hey guys, welcome back to episode 63 of PG Mining 10's Let's Play. What's up? Alright, so this episode, what we're going to be doing is we're actually definitely going to be working on our, um, let's see, what did I actually call it? The high voltage, the, no, the ultimate high voltage machine, the UH, um, VM. Yeah, so the UH VM is going to be awesome, and that is actually what I'm going to be calling it. Hopefully Frodo doesn't take that name or anything. Um, I'm pretty sure it's kind of stupid enough that um, there's probably nowhere on the internet where something's called the UHVM. I'm sure there is, but not an ultimate high-voltage machine. I'm pretty sure nothing's going to be called that related to Minecraft anyway. Um, I just requested five of these automatic crafting tables because we are going to need quite a few of them. Um, but what we're going to do now is just grab, a, I think I grabbed ten more, was it? I don't know. Let's go ahead and wait and see how many we get. There's three, four, and we should end up with 15 if I did request 10. I'm not exactly sure. You'd think that they would all just rush out really fast, but um, I suppose it does take a while to craft them. And maybe I only selected nine. That's all right. But what we're going to need now is actually, I think we're going to need a few chests. So while we are here, I believe, let's just go ahead and make a ton of copper chests. Um, yeah, that sounds good to me. So let's go ahead and grab some of this wood, and we actually have no room. So let's go ahead and throw some of our iron ore in there. And now all we should be able to do is grab out some of our... Uh-oh, I just pressed... Is grab out some of our... Uh-oh, I just pressed macro key. Sorry about that. Um, Y'all probably should or didn't see anything because I am actually recording only the screen, so we should be just fine. Um, I was worried about that when I did it the first time, but now I realize that it's only recording this screen, and we should have no issues. I actually recorded a macro on accident on my keyboard, and it um, it wasn't letting me full screen. And I'm like, why the heck's it not letting me full screen? And then I go into Synapse, and it's like, hey, um, you have a macro set for F11. I'm like, how the heck did that happen? Yeah, I really don't know how it happened, but somehow I had a macro for F11. And it was a little bit strange, but I got it figured out, and I pretty much got it figured out pretty quick, so I was proud of myself for being able to sort that issue out. But anyways, let's go ahead and get all of these chests that we can. Um, I'm thinking let's just go ahead and throw that there. We're going to waste some water here. Oh, actually, no, we're not. Let's go ahead and um, just split all of this copper up, and I think we can make copper chests like this. I hope we don't have to go iron and then copper. Yes, okay, that's good. Um, I know these chests don't hold all that much, but we can make some chest upgrades later if we need to. And I think that's all that we can make. So, uh-oh, we can do normal chest, copper chest upgrades, but those don't stack. So all I want now is my copper, and the wood can f um, fall on the floor. So that is great. And why am I not fitting through the door? All right, and as you can see, I did actually make a normal extractor. Now you're going, whoa there, why... Why normal extractor? Now, the reason I selected a normal extractor instead of a what kind of extractor is the other one? I don't even know. Let's go ahead and go check that out because I think it's centrifuge extractor. Um, yeah, centrifuge extractor is the other one. But we're not going to need all that much rubber. And the reason for that is why would we need a ton of rubber if we are going to end up running into an issue with it later? I'm going to go ahead and cut out all of these holes underneath all these chests. There's not one over there. So, um, I don't think there's one underneath this one. I really hope there's not, because we're going to be in some serious trouble if there is. Um, why did I throw that up into the air? That was a little bit funny. All right, so let's go ahead and see where I placed our rubber. I keep throwing that because I keep pressing Q. All right, so our rubber should be somewhere nearby. Um, I might not have even set one for rubber. So, oh, there we go. So that's the one I officially set for rubber. That is probably going to be a bad place to have it because I'd kind of like to have it over here because we're going to have to disconnect some iron from some other iron and I believe when these pipes do that they're going to mess us up but um let's see can I move that without having any issues you know what I think I'm gonna have to sacrifice all that EMC and you know what yeah let's do it I'm sorry I gotta do this but um yeah, we're just going to get rid of all of that, so goodbye to all of this um, sticky resin, goodbye, and let's go ahead and turn that off, and I did not cheat, keep in mind, that was not cheating, that was me um, removing some junk, so yeah, all we're going to have to do now is go back to our house, main house, and find some of our um, sticky resin, that way we can actually get this set up, I'm thinking we're just going to set it right here, where this iron is, and this iron should be no big deal to get out of the way, because I do, or I will have two um, empty slots once we get there, because copper and iron are about to be removed out of my inventory. Hopefully we don't pick up any of that junk um, when we are coming back. Let's go ahead and throw that in there, along with, uh, let's see, 
I have actually wasted a lot of EMC recently because the um, my inventory got deleted somehow. I don't exactly know how, but it, it all disappeared, including my armor. I did refund everything in my inventory as well as my armor, but I didn't refund the 200,000 EMC. That was in my client star that I emptied from, I think it was one of these collectors. I don't exactly know if it was or not. And I went into my house, and I did not grab any... Why did I just do that? I didn't grab any... Um, Let's see, what didn't I grab? Oh, any sticky resin. I just did that again. That's twice in a row. All right, so let's go ahead and check and see if we have any sticky resin in here. Um, and nope, I think we actually have eight auto crafting tables in our inventory inside of that um, white alchemical bag. Is that what it's called? Alchemy bags. Close enough. But now I believe in this chest right here. Yes, indeed. I was actually right that time. All right, so in this chest... Or not in this chest anymore, but in that chest I actually had some sticky resin. So what we're going to be doing with this sticky resin is obviously extracting it. And if you guys don't know what an extractor does, it gives you three rubber instead of the one rubber that you would get from cooking it. Now in this instance, cooking it might actually be better for us because of the amount of stuff that we're going to be producing. But I figure it's going to be quite alright. You know, um, even if we have too much, it'll just overflow and it'll probably go somewhere useful. Maybe, maybe not. I mean... Doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and throw this eight glowstone in there. And as you can see, yeah, that's how much resin we're going to end up getting. And it's just going to be super fast the way it works. Let's go ahead and pull this out and place one in there. And now all we have to do is place our extractor pipe there. But we are going to need some extractor Mark II modules. So how are we going to do this? Or actually, you know what? We might not need the extractor module. We can actually use a provider pipe here. I forgot that's how I was going to do this. But we're going to use the provider pipe here. And as you can see, there's actually a giant hole right there. I was about to fall into that. And let's go ahead and go boom. And now all we have to do is grab our extractor, which is right here, and plop it down. So these are always powered, and there is no point in actually speeding them up or putting a lever on them because they are already sped up as fast as possible, which is a great thing for us because um, we really do not need all that much rubber, as I've been saying and chanting upon. All right, so let's go ahead and grab a provider pipe as well as a supplier logistics pipe. Let's go ahead and place the supplier here. And now we should be able to grab out a stone pipe, which is here, which is great. And let's go boom, boom, and then all we have to do is, you know what, that's going to cause a problem, I do believe. Um, we might have to put some iron pipes there, or, um, yeah, I'm thinking we're going to put some iron pipes there. We'll go ahead and see, but um, I'm thinking we might have an issue. Oh, you know what, we're using logistics pipe. Who am I kidding? We're not going to have an issue there, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so all we have to do now is tell this guy that we want to keep um, 64 sticky resin in stock. Now, that will allow us to go ahead and make sure this guy is always running. And let's go boom, and there we go. So now the only thing we want to provide is, let's leave the first stack. I think it already pulled it out. Yeah, it did. It pulled out the first sticky resin that you're actually producing. So ensure that you do set this to leave the first stack. Otherwise, you will be having a major issue and won't be able to figure it out like me because... I, it took, it, blah, it just took me forever to figure out how that worked, and, uh-oh, as you can see, we're actually, um, having some issues here with the sticky resin, um, flowing into here, but you do want to keep partial requests on both of these supplier pipes, um, that's basically just for your own good, and that way, um, it doesn't just send 64 sticky resin only when it has exactly, um, 64 sticky resin, so that's just a tip for you guys, and let's go ahead and see what else we can place down. Um, I know we have those Mark 1 logistics pipes, and they are right here. So let's go ahead and grab this guy, and we should be able to place it down right there. And here is where the awesomeness is going to take place. So let's go ahead and go boom. But from here, what we're going to tell this thing, let's go ahead and grab this out. As you can see, we already have six rubber, which is going to pile up really fast. But we're going to say default route, yes, and we can only request rubber here. So all we have to do now is grab some copper chest, and let's go ahead and place this copper chest down here. And I'm actually going to go grab about five or six um, extractor Mark II modules. So I will be right back, so I will see you guys in a sec. All right, so I just requested our, I think it was six that I requested, actually. But I just requested six of our extractor Mark II modules. And as you can see, we just got one. Um, I think all the cobblestone is the last... Um, piece of the puzzle that we are now receiving into that um, automatic crafting table down there to re or to make these. Do these actually require cobble anywhere? Oh, I think it's making our stone gears first. 
that's what it was. Alright, so now we do have a 1 Mark II module. So let's go ahead and use it, since there's no point in really waiting. Um, I really would like to get this build done as quickly as possible, because I want to get this um, video out nearly as quickly as Frodo does. So let's go ahead, and I'm hoping we can get it out about the time that Frodo gets his out. So as you can see... Um, this will actually stop when this gets full, so that's actually going to slow us down a little bit more, so that's really good. Um, I really do not want these chests to overflow, because that is going to be a major nuisance. But now, as you can see, we have our coal dust, and we also have our rubber. And if you guys didn't notice already, um, yes, I did clear out a lot of this area, and I was going to clear out all the way to this back wall, but I figured... Um, I have, I've already wasted too much of my time, and I already have enough room to make the machine that I would like. So let's go ahead and continue recording. So, yep, we're recording, and I think it is actually New Year's Eve, so, um, Happy New Year's, um, to all of you. Um, it's probably gonna be New Year's by the time you guys see this video, but Happy New Year's anyway. So, now all we have to do is work on this ultimate high-voltage machine. So the next thing we're gonna need is obviously going to be that iron, and this redstone actually is going to come into play, as well as the copper. So here's what I'm thinking. Now that we have this rubber and we also have this copper, here's what we can do. We have the copper and we also have the rubber. So what we're going to need to do is make our copper cabling. So let's go ahead and take these as well as, let's see, let's take these providers as well. And let's do the provider and let's go ahead and grab out our wrench as we will definitely need it. And let's sell this guy that we can actually provide, but we're going to leave the first stack as always. Now, I do want to go ahead and bring this down probably about eye level with us, and let's place down our automatic crafting table. Now, our redstone is right here, so that's no big deal. And I actually could branch off of this if I would like. Let's go ahead and get rid of this pipe, and all we have to do now is place down a supplier pipe. Now, I would like to apologize if you guys do not like this kind of Let's Play series, but I really want to start getting some of these awesome builds done. So as you can see, we're doing a sweet build, and we actually want to keep this to keep two in stock, and sometimes these pipes mess up a little bit, and they think that they're supposed to keep a little bit less than they already have, so... Um, sometimes you'll have to put three instead of just two, and it will just work just fine. So as you can see, we already have two in here, so it's not going to request anything else. So let's go ahead and throw this back in there. So now here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to somehow get this over to there. Now how are we going to do that? What are we going to do? Well, here is the major plan. What I'm thinking we can do is just place provider pipes on both of these guys, but we're going to have to place one of these down first so that we can get some kind of base for us to lay this down. Not supplier, but we want provider pipes on top of here. And it's kind of sad when you get to learn how or which pipes which. Um, well, it's really not. They're kind of close, or not very close to start with, so it should be no big deal for you guys to learn which pipes which. This is obviously a provider, and that is obviously a supplier, and that's actually a stone pipe, so you guys probably definitely know those. Um, it doesn't take all that much logic to work with logistics pipes, so enough of that. So let's go ahead and go boom, boom, and we should be able to connect these two here. And since this is not a three-way intersection, we should have no issue and we shouldn't actually require a basic logistics pipe. So let's go ahead and place that guy there. And now this thing knows where its rubber is. So all we're going to have to do now is grab out 11 rubber. Now we don't actually need 11, but I just grabbed 11 because it was the easiest thing for me to do. And let's go ahead and go 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1. So I'm thinking we're just going to grab those two rubber out. And all we have to do is go into here. And as you guys can see, we do actually ghost using this. So if you use left click, it actually increases by the number you have in your hand. And if you right click, it decreases by one. And I think actually if you right click with this once, um, it will actually put the rubber in there like so. So that's awesome. And we should actually place a piece of rubber here so that we don't overflow. As you can see, sometimes it messes up a little bit. Let's go ahead and place that last piece in there. So as you can see, the copper cables recipe is now finished. So let's go ahead and throw this rubber back into here. And I'm thinking what we can do now is actually pump that into a main chest somewhere. So those copper cables are going to be going into, say, a copper chest, and maybe we can put it back in here. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and take a Mark I um, chassis pipe, and let's pay, place a um, basic logistics pipe right there and a copper um, chest right there. So now all we have to do is go grab the rest of our Mark II extractor pipes, and we also have to set that basic logistics pipe to a default route, and then we should have no issue on supplying our stuff. So that's going to be sweet. 
And I'm actually thinking I'm going to set that chest instead of behind it, because I really would like to keep this nice and organized. I'd like to set it next to the, um, this chest has just gotten to a mess, but it, it's going to go nice and right beside the um we actually got five i think that's because there was one stuck in the machine but anyway oh actually we did actually request six and i pulled out um five so that's great but i'm thinking we're just going to put it next to the other iron or um copper chest because if we do that we should be able to um somehow teach it um not to go anywhere else so i'm hoping we can do that um yeah let's go ahead and try this out let's go ahead and pop that off and let's go boom and you know what yeah let's go do that and we should be able to go boom and then all we have to do now is place our chest here and we have to tell this that all at once is oh you know what how can we do this oh actually even easier let's go ahead and go boom like that and then do this now all we have to do is teach it that this is the pipe and let's go boom boom and grab off this um copper chest real quick so let's go ahead and grab that. I like that the copper chests aren't, um, they don't take all that long to destroy like the normal chest. That is a plus two copper chest. And I believe that's the iron chest mod. So if you guys don't have that mod installed, go ahead and check it out. It is an awesome mod if you guys do not have it. So let's go ahead and leave that on. And we do have a default route now. So I'm afraid that it's going to start pulling out things. So we're going to have to hurry this up. And let's go ahead and go boom like so. And let's say default route, yes. And we should have no issues with it pulling out our copper cabling. But uh-oh, we're pulling into this chest. Why is that? Well, I think now we've actually created a three-way intersection. As you can see, I just spit the rubber all over the place. That's all right. But we're going to want to place a basic logistics pipe here. And it will now figure out on its own where it's supposed to go. So I believe these are all three actually three-way intersections. So it's going to require three, or three basic logistics pipes. But instead, what I'm thinking we can do is let's go ahead and, you know what, that's all going to be three ways, so we're going to have to waste our three basic logistics pipes. But that is no big deal. I don't really mind. They're not all that expensive. But as you can see, let's go ahead and grab this and tell this that all it wants is the rubber. So let's go ahead and pull out at least one piece of rubber and go ahead and tell this thing that it needs rubber and default route, yes. So now all we have to do is place our rubber back in here, and we should continuously begin to make our stuff. And if you do actually make an error like I just did, what it's going to do is spit it out on the floor, and it's going to think it's already received it. So you're actually going to have an issue with that, so you're just going to have to place it in there on your own. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's go ahead and pull, or pull all of this out, and we should have no issues now. So no more rubber is actually flowing through the system, so now all we have to do is actually we got one more piece. And let's see, so that's coal dust, and this is rubber. Let's go ahead and pull our rubber, all of it out. And then to debug, let's just go ahead and place this in there. And as you can see, we have no more rubber in the system. So that is a great thing, and that's the best way to debug. Let's go ahead and go like that. And it should pull out all the rubber. I believe that was only four rubber for some reason. Let's go ahead and check our um, recipe here and partial request. Let's go ahead and tell that yes. And I really do not know why it's doing that. So let's go ahead and teach it. This is what I was talking about. Sometimes these guys mess up. And we're just going to teach this to keep three in stock. And now we show issue. Um, I just pressed the macro again. So if we on screen, um, it basically just pulled up YouTube. I don't know why I have YouTube on a macro, but I do. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and go boom. And as you can see, we have two in here. And it should supply the rest here shortly. So let's go ahead and there's the copper and there we go. So now as you can see, the recipe should have reset and we should be just fine now. And as you can see, copper is flowing in and this is working rather well. So if you do make a mistake like I did, you're going to have to go ahead and debug kind of like this. And in the spots that it didn't fill, you're going to have to add another one. But don't worry, it's still going to keep the normal two that you normally get. So as you can see, how many copper cables do we have? We have 48 copper cables now. So now we have to get to work on the um, refined iron. So the way I'm thinking we're going to do this is going to be a little bit difficult but I'm thinking the refined iron should be able to come out of this chest and we might be able to add another chest here and just have it making um, iron on an energy collector. And we're just going to have to figure out how to separate our iron because we do need normal iron as well as refined iron. Um, let's go ahead and make sure that for the, um, what's it called, the energy circuit, I think. Energy circuit? No, let's just go ahead and type in circuit because I know it is something circuit. I think it's two pieces of redstone, and yes, that's exactly the recipe that I was thinking of. 
So that is awesome, but the only issue we need to do now is go ahead and figure out where we have some iron. And if you guys haven't already noticed, I do already, or I did actually, ooh, that's a quicksort module we have. But um, I did actually take our, um, what's it called? Let's see. Oh, I filled up our client store. That's what I was trying to say. Sorry. I had no idea what I was talking about. So I did actually take our client store and refill it, which was actually very necessary because I, I've i taken hits in the past. I've taken like 30 diamond hits. I know. But um, now it's gotten to the point where I'm like, uh, you know what? I've sacrificed enough of my stuff that it shouldn't be messing up on me. And if it does mess up, I'm going to fix it myself because, I mean, come on. Once I get to 1.4.6, I shouldn't have any of these issues. I almost guarantee I won't have any of these issues. But on 1.2.5, I didn't really like the 1.2.5 update. Um, but I guess that's what we're going to have to be playing with until I actually get this series finished. And I really would like to get this series finished because I have actually had a request. Why are we not getting the rest of that rubber? Um, eventually that should sort out. I don't exactly know what it is thinking. We might not have any rubber. Yes, that's what it is. I was getting really worried right there, so let's go ahead and see why we no longer have any rubber. So as you can see, we should have our rubber now, and it should form another one of these as soon as it gets all of the rubber. Whoa, gosh, that scared me a little bit because I was thinking that wasn't going to work because it was going to be a little bit of a nuisance if it didn't. But we got it to work, so no big deal. Let's go ahead and tell this guy that we want it to make our iron. And where did the iron go? Because I don't think I grabbed it. Did I grab it or did I not? Alright, that was my mistake, so I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, so I went ahead and ran and grabbed one piece of iron. Let's go ahead and see if I can regain control of the mouse here. The mouse had a little bit of a spin out. I went ahead and grabbed one piece of iron. I think when I actually recollected all that iron out of the buffer, it uh, actually messed up my inventory, so that is what happened. Um, as you can see, we're actually missing some rubber in this chest, which is great. I just want to go ahead and keep checking and making sure everything in the system is functioning properly which it is which is great so let's go ahead and tell this guy that it wants iron and all we have to do now is place our iron in there I have no idea why it did what it did but let's go ahead and grab all this glowstone since we are no longer or we aren't actually and never were condensing anything in that energy condenser right there so all we have to do now is I'm thinking all we have to do is take a provider pipe and as always we're going to tell it that it only or, whoa, that is a supplier. I did click on sub or provider, I thought, but oh well. Let's go ahead and tell this to leave the first stack. And that's basically the best thing to do as soon as you lay down your pipes. Make sure all the settings on them are proper. Otherwise, you will be having a lot of issues, and it's really a pain in the butt. Um, Actually, let's see. This is going to create another actual, um, what's it called? It's going to create another issue here, but we shouldn't have all that many issues because, yeah, as you can see, we have that issue now. So I'm thinking we're just going to replace those with basic logistics pipes. Um, I know they are expensive, but to make this system as efficient as possible, that is what you're going to require. Unless you'd like to separate these chests, but it's going to be kind of hard to do that. I'm going to have to do it over there as well. But just keep in mind that every place that you have a three-way intersection, you're going to have to do this. So just keep that in mind, and you will have no issues with your basic logistics pipes. So let's go ahead and grab another of our awesome thingies right here. What's it called? Automatic crafting table? Yeah. And the Mark IIs are a little bit strange, so I do not recommend using them. I've never actually used them personally, um, but they are a tad bit strange in how they work. I don't exactly know how to phrase that, but they are a little bit weird. So all we're going to do is teach this guy that it needs, let's see, I think we only need one piece of refined iron. So um, actually this does not need to be what I have it set as. We're going to need a furnace right here, so here's what we're going to have to do. I'm going to go ahead and go grab an induction furnace. We definitely want an induction furnace for this. Um, I'm thinking we can just go ahead and pull one from our system over there, but I will be right back as soon as I have an induction furnace, and I'll show you where I was taking that from, so I'll be right back. All right, so here is where I was talking about when we actually pulled that induction furnace, so that's no big deal. Um, I actually had to remake one because there was a bug, and this one, like, disappeared. So I just, you guys know that I actually had one there, so I had to... Um, pull one from the cheat mode, that's why I have this typed in, because I don't know exactly know what happened. You know sometimes when the, um, the block doesn't update and it turns, like, solid white? It did that, and when I tried to remove it with my handy-dandy wrench, which is right here, it just went poof. I'm like, what? It didn't, it didn't even drop a, um, what's it called? An advanced, um, machine block. It was just like, poof, I'm not gonna give you anything, because you're a loser. And I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, so that, that's the exact noise I made, you know, everything. I sound exactly like that. 
Alright, so what we're going to have to do is pull out Swiftwolf's Renegade and hope we have enough juice to fly for two seconds, maybe. And if we don't, we are in some serious trouble because we need to run energy to all of these. And let's go ahead and good thing we have enough cable. I think we have just enough. And boom. So there we go. I'm uh oh crap. We about fell there. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a piece of cobble and I will go ahead and touch this piece up because I don't want it to look bad. So there we go. Now we should be getting energy to this guy. And the bad thing about this is we're going to be pulling a lot of energy now. So let's go ahead and wrap up and I will explain why we will be pulling a lot of energy now um, as soon as next episode begins. So if you enjoy what I do, please do go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you have not already. And if you are subscribed to me, you guys are just awesome. I think that I'm, I am at about 160 subscribers so far. And that is really awesome, but I would like to continue to grow as a YouTuber because that is my main goal other than trying to help you guys understand the mods of Minecraft and just having fun with me. So I would like you guys to join my server if you guys have not already. Um, I'll go ahead and include the link in the descript or description, which is something I haven't actually done yet. And, oh, look at the old house. I mean, come on. Look at this stuff over here and then look at this old house. Come on. But anyways, if you guys like this video, please do like it, and I guess I'm going to sign off. So, uh, this has been PG Minington, and I'll see you next time. Peace.